Hello everyone, this is Pam, Rose City Stitcher, coming to you with another video. Uh, this video is going to be my uh, 2017 finishes and my uh, December whips and 2018 plans and January plans. So you can tell I'm filming in a different area, not sure how well this is going to work but it's very gloomy outside today and plans to be for the next four days and I really wanted to get this done so hopefully everything will show up okay here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started uh, first I'm gonna go ahead and show my finishes for the year I had 16 finishes all together which I thought was pretty good uh, so I'll go ahead and show you those I'll kind of be looking down a little bit to see my notes of when I started and finished each of these. So my first finish of 2017 was this. This was my February cottage that I had restarted. Um, and I finished this on the 23rd of February. And my next finish was this by Satsuma Street. It was called Sweet Spring. And I finished this in March on the 29th. And my next finish was Hot Cocoa. This was um, Country Cut, no, Little House Needleworks. Hot Cocoa. This was a quick finish. I started this on 5 10 2017 and finished it on the 28th. Next one was Tribal Panda. This is done on a 16 count Riviera Aqua Ada. There's that one. This one was started on 5 2 and finished on 6 7. That was one of my mania starts. Uh, next one was a big finish for me. This was Halloween with a Y by uh, Blue Ribbon Designs. And this is done on a on an Ada, a grayish Ada. And this one was started, this was a 2015 start, and I finished this on June 23rd. Next finish was Spring Banner. This was a Debbie Mum kit. Uh, I started this on 5-11-2016 and finished it on 6-29 this year. Next finish was another big finish for me. And this was Dark Shadows by uh, Hindsight. And this is on a 28 count Charles Craft uh, tea dyed linen. Next was a Mill Hill kit. This was Snowy Owl Snowman. And let's see, he was started on the 1st of May and finished the 7th. July 19th. Next one was Lizzie Kate's Green Flip It. There it is. I really liked this one. I don't know why he's crooked. There we go. Uh, and this was done on, I think this is hand dyed by Stephanie Chocolate Milk. I love that fabric. Um, oh, and that one was, let's see, started 422 and finished on 729. And then this was just a little card. When I had showed all my UFOs, I saw that this needed very little to finish, so I went ahead and finished him. Next finish was in October. This was finished at the Lost Two Retreat. And this is Red by Bent Creek. And this is done on... Mirage Lugana, 28 count, I picture this plus. And then a quick little finish, this is Pumpkin Spice. And I'm not sure what fabric this, I think this is on that Oaken, I picture this plus. And this is on Earthen, this is my Oodles of Autumn. In Creek. Oh, I finished this one on 11-4. And then the needle worker. That was a mania start. 
and I finished it on 11.15. And I'm not sure what fabric that's on. Looks like that might be on the earthen also. And then these two are the ones that you haven't seen yet. These are two December finishes. The first one is my Lizzie Kate Living with Charm that I started on 10-5-2016 and finish it on 12-15-2017. It's not going to all fit, but there. There it is. So, and that was just done on a 10-16 count. So I was happy to meet my goal on finishing that one. You can see it's got all the We've got little charms. So, and then the last finish, which was kind of a surprise finish, because this was actually going to be a UFO. I decided I didn't really like the fabric, but once I started working on it, I actually liked it and finished it. And that is my Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Stitch Rovia. And this was just on like a cream um, 16 count, I believe. And I did change out the word town and claws. I made it green instead of blue. Because I wanted it to be more Christmas colors. I think it turned out pretty good. So that one I finished on the 24th. I finished that one on Christmas Eve, just in time for Christmas. So those were my finishes for the year. Like I said, pretty pleased with those. I didn't get quite everything done that I planned. Some of my larger finishes I didn't get finished. But I was still pleased with what I had done. Okay, so that brings me to my uh, whips. I did, worked on seven whips. Of course, two of them are finishes. So let me go ahead and show you those. Like I said, everything's kind of on the floor around me. This isn't my normal spot. So uh, First, I'll go ahead and show you the one that I'm currently been working on. And that's this one. This is my um, woodland sampler. Okay, it's gonna look it's gonna look like that. So I've been I worked on this a whole lot. I got a lot done. I finished the fox and I finished the mushroom and the bird and the rest of the rest of that. So I got a lot done on this. I've been working on this the last couple of days. Um, I'm not sure what the fabric is for this. It's just a it's a blue uh, 28 count even weave. It may be one of um, the fabrics by LJ probably. So I've been working on that one. The other one that I worked on, my never ending snow fairy. So just when I think I'm finished with the dress, there's more to do. But I did get a page finish on this one. So the bottom of the dress is finally finished. So there she is. So I just have the her face and hair, the castle in those trees. So this one I will finish in 2017. I'm determined to get this one finished 2017. Uh, the next one that I worked on was Soda Stitch Ice Cuts. And this is being done on Mercedes 32 count. And I worked on this one just a little bit. Worked on that second ice cream cone. It's so cute. Then I worked on my candy cane Santa for Christmas. There it is. I'm using the called for fabric. And here's where I am, I work some more on that sled. Get some more of the sled done. Next one I worked on was this, the Holiday Village. And I'm really, really pleased. I finally made some progress. If you remember last time, it had like maybe 20 stitches in it. But I did get, I did get some more done. You can actually see that there's a house there now. So worked on that one and the last one I worked on was a little bit more work on my Indian Maiden uh, here. Right there. She 
is. And got the worked some on the deer. Oops, there we go. So this is another one that'll definitely be a finish next year. All right, so that was all of my whips that I worked on. So next, I guess, is my uh, 2018 plans and my January plans. Uh, I started out doing this big long thing with my plans and just kind of decided I didn't really want to do all that after all. I was, you know, I showed you my the planner that I had bought um, in another video, separate video. I decided to just make this my regular planner for everything. So I put last year's cover on it and I'm just going to use that but I'm still going to keep the pieces in here but I had started writing making like if you can see that there we go all kinds of, of plans all kinds of sheets and I was getting overwhelmed so I changed my mind I decided I'm not going to do that I'm going to stitch the full coverage on the fifth and do one of my full coverage pieces work on one of my haids or one of my dimension kits because those are all pretty much full coverage uh, and then work that whip on the 15th. I'm going to go ahead and pick one to do. Um, I'm going to probably do year of starts, but maybe not every single month do one. If I have something new that fits something, then I will do a start. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to except for uh, Mania. In Mania, I've got so many from the prior years, there won't be a whole lot of starts there either. But I do have a few that I really want to start. Uh, and then I'm going to do the Halloween uh, stitch along. So I'm going to stitch on a Halloween piece the 13th of each month. And the Christmas, um, I'm going to do that on the 25th of each month. I will stitch on one of my Christmas pieces. And then I am going to do the um, 50 nifty U.S. states. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to start for that. And then the rest of it, if it's like, I'm just going to kind of stitch on whatever. Uh, I plan to do one week each month on a Joan Elliott because I currently have let's see one two three four five, six Joan Elliott's and I'm fixing to start another one so I'm gonna do one of those a week and I'm gonna spend a week on a kit so I have a lot of kits also that I would like to go ahead and get finished so two weeks are going to be those either Joan Elliott or a kit and then the other two weeks will just kind of be whatever I want to work on so that's kind of my very loose plans. So let me go ahead and show you. Okay, and the other thing I was going to say, I'm going into it with, I had 40, I have 47 whips currently, but I'm restarting Snow White, the Disney Dream Snow White, because um, I measured the fabric after everybody was talking about the fabric not being big enough, and mine's not either. And I barely started it, so I'm going to restart it on different fabric. And the same with Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid, I have even less work started so I'm gonna restart both of those at some point in time um, I'm gonna restart tapestry cat it's gonna be on the same fabric I'm just going to start at the top instead of the middle rip, rip out that little bit in the middle and start at the top um, and I'm gonna restart coffee break that was one of my kits because I don't like that fabric either um, so that was and I'm going to pick my own. And I've UFO'd the fantasy uh, stitch along, mystery stitch along. I just don't like that piece at all. Uh, I know I'm never going to pull it back out. So that will bring me down to 42 whips. So that's what I'll have going into 2018. So let me go ahead and show you what I plan to, to do in 2018. Um, I am joining, oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you, I, I am, did join Garrett's uh, Coffee Stitchers Soda to Stitch Stitch Along. So I'm going to be starting this one on the first, the Fairyland 2. And you're going to kind of see some of my haul along with um, what I'm going to be doing because I bought stuff. And I'm going to be doing it on this Lavender Sunset. I know this is probably not going to show up at all because my lighting is awful. But it's kind of a green and purpley, very pale purple. So that's that's my plan. 
for the first. Then I'm also going, this is going to be my new start uh, because there are two de day designers is Plum Pudding. So I'm going to go ahead and, it's Glendon Place, I'm sorry, it's Glendon Place is the designer. So I'm going to do Plum Pudding. And of course I've got all the threads and the called for fabric Sprite. So that one will be started on the 18th. And then uh, Calico is doing a stitch along with the Marjolaine Baston, the Four Seasons. So I do plan to start that one. And I've got just this cream 28 count uh, fabric that I'm going to use for that. So I'm going to start that one. And then here's the One Nation that I'm going to start. And I'll be working on this. And this is going to be on just a mushroom, mushroom Lugana, uh, 28 count. And the other one, I don't know when I'm going to start this. So this is the other Joan Elliott I was talking about. I bought this at the um, ABC Stitch Therapy in November when I went. And I'm going to be doing this on Cauldron. I said, I don't think I showed y'all this because I don't think I'd been to the store yet when I did my last video. But it's going to be on this. I think it'll be really cool. Give it that steampunk look. My son actually helped me pick it out. He's really into that and he thought this would look good on that. So that's my plan. I may actually start this today. I thought about this being kind of like New Year's Eve start. So I'm work on this today and tomorrow through New Year's Eve. That's what I'm kind of thinking about. All right, so that's my 2018 starts. And like I said, I'll be doing Joan Elliott for a week and one of my kits for a week. So that's all that. And now, like I said, I'm sitting on the floor, so let me, sorry. Okay, so now that brings me to um, my stash acquisitions. I do have a lot here, but I went to the Stitchy store two times since my last video I went over Thanksgiving and then I went again over Christmas so that's why there's a lot and then I bought a few things on stash unload not a whole lot though mostly what I've bought have is uh, fabric that I've bought to kit up my different projects um, so I did buy this this is just some picture this plus 32 count Chablis it's a it's kind of a it's a darker pink than what it's showing so I don't know what I'm gonna stitch that on maybe a mermaid then I forgot oh um, my fabrics by LJ for November is a November storm and then I bought just a big piece of light top taupe uh, 28 count Lugana. It's just a good neutral big piece. I bought um, a fat half. So for all the different things, I have a lot of uh, Blackbird designs, Plum Street samplers, and I noticed when I was looking at my finishes, most of my finishes, whoops, sorry, was on um, the neutral fabrics. So I was like, okay, I need to buy more neutral because that seemed to be what I was stitching a lot of. Uh, so the other thing I bought was fabric for this. This is what I want to start next year. Picture this plus Zephyr. I said I really I don't think I showed any of this to you because I hadn't put any of it away. And it's just a really pale blue, real pale blue. It's like almost does look white. It's really light, just enough to give a little bit of a sky look to it. And then I bought this pattern, Beatrix Potter. And I'm going to do this on Legacy. I picture this plus that I already had in my stash. And then I've got, let's see. I bought fabric for my solo tool. I love this, love this fabric. 
it's, it's purple. It's Picture This Plus Flapper Crystal. And look at that. So beautiful. You can actually see some of the sparkle. I can't wait to do this one. So pretty. So pretty. So I'm going to do her on that. And then a new pattern that I bought while I was down there at Christmas was... I'm sorry, I just love these primitive hair designs. I bought a whole bunch of these. So I bought Snow White. And she's going to do, I had a small piece of Oaken left. So I'm just going to do her on that. And let's see, what's this one? Oh, this is my Athena. I finally found fabric for my Athena. This is for the March Mythology. So I've had her for a while. I've been looking for fabric for her, and I found this. It's called Dense Fog by Witchelt, and it's it's kind of like a grayish green. Well, that's kind of the color. Again, I didn't want something that took too much away from the design, but I felt we saw it hanging up on just a cream, and it, we felt like it needed a little bit more than that, so I think that'll be good. So that'll be a March start. And then, let's see, what's this? Oh, yes, I got fabric for My Little Women, my Brooks books. And I'm going to do this on Dusty. I just wanted, a, it's a, a pale green because it's like all their dresses are different. And I didn't really want to do it on the brown, but I didn't want to do blue because I was afraid it would clash. And then, of course, she's got red, pink one and a purple so I thought the green would work good with all of those so that's gonna probably be stitch mania start okay so those are all of the fabrics that I bought to kit up all those projects uh, I think what's left is just some miscellaneous patterns the magazines I have this magazine because I like strawberries and I got this one by Barbara Batts, because I saw um, Stash Queen had showed the huge um, lot that she had got, and she had some of these, and I liked them, and so I found these on eBay. There's another one. I think this is one she had actually showed. I really like this one. And then also on Stash Unload, I got... Teresa Winsler's uh, Trade Winds and Bird Watcher. And the whole reason I bought that lot was because I wanted this one, the Charles Wysocki Pepper Cricket Farm. Those just came with it. And then I also bought, uh, when I got the Fairyland 2, I went ahead and bought Fairyland 1 because I mean, you have to have both, right? So I have that one. I actually found Autumn Queen for a good price on eBay, and she gave me this as a bonus, which is nice. I really like that, that heart there. Got all kinds of patterns. And then two more primitive hair. I got the Sea Witch and... Christmas called a uh, Christmas Carol sampler. I really like that. So I may start this one during one of the um, Christmas year round sale. So that's all of my haul. It really wasn't too much. Like I said, mostly if it was fabric to kit up my different projects that I wanted. Um, so the only thing I have left here, I actually brought in here what I was talking about with my restarts. So I'll go ahead and show you that. We're not too far. 24 minutes. Uh, so that was my tapestry cat that I was telling you about. And um, it's, you're not even going to be able to see what's been done. But yeah, you're not going to be able to see that at all. There you go. Little That little bitty bit. So I'm going to rip that out and we're going to restart it at the top. And then the other restart was this Design Works um, coffee. Like I said, I haven't 
haven't done too much on it only done just that little bit and I just I really don't like this fabric I want it on a different fabric so I'm gonna change out that fabric because I really like the pattern it's like I love the pattern so I just I'm gonna have to get different fabric and then the Little Mermaid like I said this is the one that the fabric is just, it's not going to be big enough, and that's all I started, so I'm not really out a whole lot. So, I'll just restart it. And then, Snow White. There she is. And this one, I... I hate the fabric anyway. The fabric is stiff. It's awful. I don't like it anyhow. And that's all I did. So this, I'm just going to throw this away. The Little Mermaid fabric's not too bad. I might actually keep it and use it for some smalls. But that's going in the trash. That's awful. Okay, so I think that's all. Let me look at my list here. Uh, to, yeah. So that's pretty much it for me. Um... Like I said, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, I'm enjoying my time off tremendously. It's been great. I still have another whole week. So I plan to do a whole lot more stitching. I've been stitching so much when I should be cleaning house and doing things. But this past week, I just wanted to relax. So that's what I've done. Next week, I'll do a little bit more other things. But this week, I'm just enjoying the time off and stitching as much as I can. The weather is nasty outside, so it's supposed to get down to 19, which is does not happen down here in Texas very much. So I'll be staying indoors with the fire and stitching away. I won't be going out anywhere in that kind of weather. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great New Year's. Be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.